Welcome back to The Green Room with Jade Million. Um, this is episode three, and I'm with a really special guest today. The famous, highly acclaimed, is that a word? Okay. Makeup artist, Makeup by Haley. Hi. Also, Haley is my makeup artist, but she's also one of my best friends, so I'm so happy you're here. I am too. Thanks for having me. Of course. We're going to get into a lot of, obviously, uh, makeup stuff and stuff about your career. Um because she's a boss ass bitch. But I want to start doing this thing um, where I update you guys on the past week and I want my guests to kind of do the same. Yeah. So I we we I know. She's like I don't I didn't remember last week. Um me either really because it was my birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Haley and I are both um Tauruses. Yes. So Taurus Taurus gang. Taurus gang. Um we relate heavily on on many things because we are both Tauruses, but mm-hmm. Um, my birthday was this past, it was actually yesterday, wow, but I've been celebrating for what feels like a week, because I wanted to celebrate with my friends in Nashville, and I had plans to go to Chicago to go see my favorite artist, Mike, um, if you guys know him, it's just Mike, and so we went out Friday night, Haley came. Mm -hmm. That was Friday? That was Friday. Wow. Yeah, it feels like, doesn't it feel like forever ago? It feels like two weeks ago. Yeah. So we went out Friday. We had an absolute blast. I performed at the W, and yes. then all my friends came, and we they came to like the last little part of my set, and then we went upstairs. We tried to make the first part. Yeah, everybody was like running, <laughs> and I'm like, it's fine. I performed for four hours, so I don't expect anybody to. We tried. Yeah, be there that long. But um, right after that, we went upstairs to the rooftop, and um, I love the W. Thank you. Shout out to you guys. Mm-hmm. You guys got me a little table set up. And we danced, twerked the night away. Um, we were having so much fun. I feel like everybody in the bar was like, who are these people? But I also like, yeah. want to be their friends. I feel like at one point, too, the DJ was playing music just for us. Yes. And no one else was like paying attention. Oh, yeah. We, and we were, we were loving it. We were like the only ones dancing. Like yeah. Nobody dances anymore. Besides the one auntie. That was right next yes. to Yes. That Tyler was like. Yeah. yeah. Tyler, um, is a, he does my hair and he does your hair too, right? Yeah. And he's another one of our really good friends. And he he was the star of the night. Like it was oh, my yeah. birthday, but Tyler was the star. Yeah. Yeah. The way that this man can twerk, <laughs> I've never seen an ass thrown this way. No. It's impressive. Didn't he just win a twerking contest too that he did? He did, and the girl didn't pay him. Oh yeah, that was messed up. Yeah. He was supposed to get paid and he didn't get paid. He so. literally was doing Concrete. splits on stage. He he mooned everyone on stage. I love that. And I was like, no, you need to get paid. Yeah, definitely throw him some cash. Well, yeah, he he just he made the whole night. I mean, he was like dancing the entire time nonstop. Um, everyone I love was there, so I was just so happy about that. You brought. Your girlfriend, it was for Nikki, Nikki, yes. who I her had birthday never met. was the day before. Your her birthday was the day too. before. She's a Taurus too. Yeah, surprise. Tauruses love Tauruses. Actually, seven of my closest friends are all Taurus. Wow, that's yeah. Crazy. So end of April, early May, I am broke mm-hmm. and and hungover. exhausted yeah. for a month straight. Yeah. I don't even celebrate my own birthday. Oh, because and, I'm like yeah, because Haley's, by the, Haley's by birthday. By the time I get to my birthday, I'm like, I don't want to do anything. Yeah. Oh my god, that makes so much sense. Poor thing. But we're still gonna do something. Sorry. Um, but yeah, no, we had so much fun, and then we went to. So my manager Matt uh, works at. He like does promotions for Church and Union, which another shout out. Great venue. Love the owner Alejandro. Um, and Matt was like, you know, like we could get you a table over there, get bottles. So we were like, absolutely. So we left the W, and then we all went to Church and Union, and it was another it was just It was party. fun until I had a panic attack in the bathroom for 30 minutes, but Wait, it's fine. I think a lot that happens to a lot of people. I have, like, sensory overload really bad. So it was, like, it was a combination of it being, like, a tight space back mm, there. It was and tight. And I spilled a drink on Nikki. And that gave me anxiety. Aww. And then there was a bartender that was carrying, you know, those like bright lights that they come out with? Oh, yeah. The... She was carrying them on a tray and ran into me twice and then blinded me with it. And I just. Oh, my God. I was like, I got to go. I didn't. Were you OK, though? Did you recover? Yeah, but once I sat in the bathroom for 30 minutes, yeah. I just chugged. Just chugged. Champagne. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Came out a whole new person. And then the girl next to me in the stall. She also was having a panic attack. Really? Yeah. And I That's what like, I'm saying. It, ha- it happens to great. people. 
I was out with a guy once and he was like, I'm free. Like I'm having a panic. I'm like, wait, what? Like in the middle of the bar. But yeah, I guess it's the, I like, I'm like thriving, like in, in a social See, setting. See, once like I, once I drink a lot, there's like a middle ground. It's yeah. like before I get drunk, I have anxiety in the middle. I'm fucking fine. And then like, you know, when it gets to that turning point to where like, you take everything sensitive and oh yeah, start you don't have to mouth tell me. for no reason. <laughs> <You don't> gotta, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't got to tell me about the, about that that part of the night because it, it tends <laughs> tends to happen for me. I mean, that night I literally tried to jump out of a moving car. So. Oh my god! Just, and I was just being a drama queen. Like I really, I mean, I think that was really what. Yeah, it's fine. Cut the cord with. It's your birthday. With you that person. Be. Anyway, um, yeah, no, I mean. It, but we had so much fun. Like other, mm-hmm. like the night was truly perfect. I had zero expectations going into my birthday weekend because I put like last year I like put so much pressure. Like to, we went to Miami yeah. and like it was just a lot. It so was fun though. It was fun. But this year I just wanted to. This all year I was wanted more just was, like chill. Like yeah. you know, it, it didn't seem like like we had to stick to a plan or yeah, or no. Like that. Yeah, no. I was like, I just want everybody, everyone that I love around me, and mm-hmm. that's exactly what happened. So. Thank you to all my friends who came out, and it was so fun. So that happened Friday night, um, and then, you know, I performed all weekend, and then I drove to Chicago. Wait, you drove? I drove, and I'm, yeah. I, everybody thinks that I'm a psycho, because I yeah. will drive anywhere. Like, I drove to Florida recently by myself. I drive by myself, like, listen to podcasts and vibe the whole time. I'm fine. Like, it doesn't bother me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I drove to Chicago Monday morning, and I... It was to see my favorite artist, Mike. And I just want to say, guys, <laughs> don't DM your heroes. Like, just don't. Because I am I keep getting my heart broken by Mike. Um, I adore him. I'm truly, I'm not a fangirl for anybody, but I, I'm like a slight fangirl with Mike. I've listened to his album every single day for like the past year. Anyway. He's, he's good looking. He's well, that, he's but pretty, also so nice. very talented. So his show sold out in Nashville, and I was so sad. So, like, you know, like, we'd, like, exchanged, like, a couple. Like, he, like, said something like, oh, I like your Nirvana cover or whatever. Mm-hmm. I know. And I, so I was, like, I thought we were cool. You know, I, I mean, we, we are cool, but I just thought that I could hit him up and be, like, hey, is there any way that I could buy tickets for your Nashville show? I know it's sold out, but I really want to go, yeah. which is exactly what I said. I didn't even ask for free tickets. Like, I just yeah. said, can I buy because yeah. I know, you know, there's extra tickets. But anyway, so he, like, read it. Okay, that was heartbreak number one. I was like, it's fine. It's mm-hmm. fine. I'm just going to go see him in Chicago. Um, so I did that, and I was already like, no, I'm going to, like, for sure, like, post a story, tag him, you know. Cute little selfie video to his music getting mm-hmm. ready. Uh, red. <laughs> then I post a video of him at okay. a show. Red. I'm like, okay. okay. So. And I, I say Maybe don't- it's not him on his Instagram. No, it is. Okay. I was trying to make it better. No, there's nothing to make it better. And at this point, like, my friend Lauren, who I was with, she's like, ask them what they're doing. I'm like, no. no like, I've already. If that gets left on red, it's I just, can't. It's my a ego is already trashed by yeah. just. I'd block them. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but that's why I'm saying, like, don't damn your heroes because it's like, I love him so much as an artist that, like, because he keeps leaving me on red, it's like a little, like, it's just a heartbreak every time. So. Well, stab. But it's fine because I'm recording this, you know, I've put it out there and I feel like one day we'll collab or something. <laughs> and I'll he's be like, gonna, you love me on red. He's going to watch this and leave this on red. No, truly. He's going to be like, okay, um, yeah, no, definitely going to leave her on red. But he does live in Nashville, which is cool. But anyway. I didn't know he was Mike Stud. Right. That's the whole thing. He had like a name change. Because I, like, I used to listen know. to him like, when was that, like 2016? Uh-huh. Ish that was like era? in his college boy like, like these days yes era. yes yeah. and his recent album the highs is like what i've been obsessed with almost all year so um still thoroughly enjoyed the show i mean i it was like the best concert i've been to in so long yeah. and um we had a blast i mean i got put up on shoulders i mm. i was like hey like like i was like i'm on <laughs> shoulders you on red like, while you were up there yeah he left me on red while i was on shoulders <laughs> He just kept leaving my red. But what's funny is his opener, Skis. I saw you had a picture. Of yeah, him. okay. So he is also very talented. And I only discovered him because I also listened to Mike's podcast, of course. And um, Skis was like a guest on it. And I was like, this guy is so fucking funny. Like, he's 
hilarious. And I guess he's like an artist that Mike just like randomly found. Um, or I don't know, maybe he like sang in front of Mike and Mike was like, you should be an artist. Mm-hmm. Something really lucky happened to this kid. Not that he doesn't deserve it because he's very, very talented, but Mike brought him on tour. So he opened for Mike. He did a great job. And then um, Lauren and I, my friend that I went to Chicago with, went to a bar next to the venue and skis like walked in. And so we like, we're homies. Like we follow each other and it's, it's all good. Skis. We love skis. Mm -hmm. I did get a cute picture with him. I got so many cute pictures. Like I would like got a picture of me like eating pizza and like just being like Chicago, (laughs) Chicago girly. I was fully (laughs) thriving, living my Chicago life. I like, of course had on like too many baby wants you yep. meet me by the bean. I, like, I saw you did not want to go to the bean. Yeah. Oh I, my god. I want to go because I'm not. I feel like I'm anti-tourist because I live in. Nashville. I am too, but like. I know. I. It's a giant bean. I know. I don't it's know. I was gross. like, I'd rather like go get espresso martinis on the river. Like yeah. that's. More. I just want like a selfie in it, and then yeah. like. That's really it. I know. I was kind of shitting mm-hmm. on it. My friend was super upset because she was like, "You have to see it," but I didn't see the bean, guys. I did have. The best espresso martini of my life. Yeah, so, that's crazy. That over the bean for me. I'm from Illinois and I've only been to Chicago like twice. That's and my one friend. Was in like sixth grade. Yeah, she doesn't really. Go. I'm like, I would come to the city every weekend. We never went. Like it was lit. I'm closer to St. Louis, so like I grew up going mm. to St. Louis. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't think I've been there, but really, yeah, we have to go. Yeah, that'd be fun. It's our next Isn't there a trip. tin roof there? I'm sure there's tin roofs everywhere. Yeah, I perform it. Um, the yeah. tuner in a bunch of different we cities. You can look it up and go. I'm down. So yeah, that was my weekend. Um, I'm, I always like, when I do travel like that, I always like pray before, like, you know, keep me safe. Always. I'm very grateful to get home safe and I'm just really happy with how my birthday went all in all. Good. Yeah. It was super fun. Yay. What did you do this weekend? <laughs> I don't even, I she's like, I don't know. Don't even remember. I had like, I feel like I had like 10 people's birthdays mm-hmm. all last week. So my best friend, Jess, her birthday was Tuesday and then, but we celebrated last Saturday going mm-hmm. out and then Thursday. Yeah. I can't remember hardly anything, but Thursday, um, was Nikki's birthday and my friend Iris's birthday, the one that does my lashes. Okay. So I had both of them and Nikki was down all week. Um, she was in she Nashville. Was hanging with someone. Yeah. And um, Thurs- did I do anything Thursday? I don't know. I literally don't know. Friday was yours. Mm-hmm. Saturday, I worked, of course. And then, oh, I went out for Nikki's birthday. She had a big yeah, group of people went that out came again. from, like, Illinois. There was, like, ten of us, oh if not more. We were at, went on Broadway. I don't know if Tyler wants me to say this on here, but. Please do. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler love I you. love you. It was like the highlight of my night, though. Okay, you have to say So if it. Tyler doesn't want this on here, we can cut it out. But... I feel like Tyler doesn't care. No. No. I love Tyler. He's so a, we went to Nudie's, of course. You love like... Nudie's. I do. I just Why? like the I'm I like the curious. vibe there. I like the music. Um, that's about it. It's a um, like bar on Broadway. Yeah, but the rooftop. The Second rooftop. floor and the rooftop. Yeah, because they play hip-hop, which, like, I think that's, that's, why I like it. that's what we want. Yeah. And I feel like I go there because I know it never misses, really. Yeah. Like, like there's like always occasionally people, there's always people there. But like I'd rather not stand in line and waste like an hour of my time yeah, trying to get on in, like, Broadway risky. standing in line and yeah. losing my buzz mm-hmm. to get into a place and it's whack cuz mm-hmm. that happens all the time. So true. Um but anyway, so yeah, we were dancing. It was only like four of us. We kind of split up. When you're in a group that big, you kind of split For up. Sure. So <laughs> Tyler, of course, is doing his thing, twerking, yeah, twerking on everyone, you know, dancing. And I guess he got a little hot. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah wait, no, he told me. He told me. <laughs> he looked dead at me. We were, like, next to the wall. He looked dead at me. He's like, Haley, I'm going to pass out. Two seconds later, he just falls backward, like, one knee under the other, just, like, poses as he's flat on the ground. <laughs> and I was like... Get up, Tyler! Get up! And everyone's like, like, "Get up!" <laughs> He's like unconscious. I thought he was faking, but he was <laughs> unconscious for like ten seconds. And thankfully, there's other girls next to me trying to get him up. And then all of a sudden, security comes over and was like, "He's got to go." Uh, I. It's like he just like, passed Why? Because <laughs> he wakes up. He goes, "I'm good. Let's dance." <laughs> we were like, That's "What?" So Tyler he just passed I'm out. Good. Hey, okay, we're good. But Let's yeah, work. no, they escorted him out, and there were these. 
two guys that were just being dicks. And one of them was just, like, recording him. Ugh. I'm like, it's not a world star fight. Like, Mm-mm. who are you going to show that to? Your two friends? <laughs> and I... The anger, the, the, the rising sad came out. Oh, yeah. And... Of you? I, yeah. Oh, okay. And I, I unleashed, and I literally was just, like, in their faces. I was like, I just remember yelling, are you five? Like, I just kept <laughs> saying that over and over to them. And one of them was, like, another guy who literally was, like, trying to, like, grind on me all night was, like, um, nah, he passed out. He's, he's zooted off drugs. I was, like, Tyler's not no, on any drug, no. first of all. He's high and on life. <laughs> off twerking. He's yeah. high off twerking. Yeah. And um, he was, like, he's, whatever, he, pa- he hit the floor or whatever. And I was, like, I'm going to make you hit the floor, bro. <laughs> I was just going off on this guy and security was like, let's go, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, okay, good. Because I'm about to fight these two guys. About to throw down. Yeah. And then it was just, it kind of was just. It got ratchet. Yeah. A little bit. But like, of course we're going to, we're not going to leave Tyler. Like they literally right. just like, he dipped. Like, but they wouldn't like wait for us. Tyler left. Yeah. They escorted him out so fast. No, they always And do I even They're stood really up for strict. him. I was like, he just fell. Like. Because yeah. apparently if you hit the ground on Broadway or on, at like a bar on Broadway, they like escort you out. Yeah. If and you those, hit the ground at all. Those bouncers don't They play. escort you out. And, you um, but yet seriously. they let people smoke weed in there. I yeah. And like do blow. <laughs> yep. So, but, um, so yeah, then the, um, he was like, go to the elevator or whatever. So we went to the elevator. The elevator wouldn't work. Mm. You have to like have a key. So we go down the stairs. I don't know if you've been in any of these. Yeah, I have. Okay. Oh, so a lot we of go stairs. down the stairs. Over by the bathrooms. And the girl, we went to, like, the second level. The girl's like, nah, you have to go back up and around and down the other stairs. And I was like, they literally just kicked our friend out. She's yeah. like, I don't care. Yeah, people are. Y'all, I was about to fight everyone <laughs> that night. I was going off on her. It was it was a mess. It was Oof. a mess. The tower was good. Yeah. He was fine. That's, he was doing my hair. And he goes, oh, by the way, I passed out last night. I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I think yeah. I got too hot. I don't know what happened. Yeah. That's so I don't so get hard. it. Cause he's, but maybe he was just dehydrated. It could be that. That's what I, I passed yeah. out being dehydrated. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've I got out of a tanning out. bed, butt ass <laughs> naked. And I went, I felt myself passing out and I like went to go like open the door because I was like scared. Cause I was like, what's happening? I passed out, hit like, my open tailbone. The, like, yeah. To, so like imagine I so did open the door just... and I'm naked just like laying on the ground. Like, <laughs> So, yeah, I passed out, and I think I was just dehydrated, but... Damn. Yeah. Wait, happens. did anyone see you or say anything? No, I woke up five minutes later. I was so shaken up. With the door open, and you just laying The door naked? wasn't open. I, oh. I never made it to the door. But, oh, good. But, yeah. It's anyway. So, then, where did you go? Didn't you? Um, Travel? Yeah, I did. Sunday. What? Uh, yeah, Sunday, Nikki and I went to Miami. Um, We didn't even get there till like... One, two in the morning. So we basically only had like Monday, Tuesday, mm-hmm. um, and we mainly just wanted to just like chill, eat good food. Um, so Monday we went to um, the Versace Mansion. I I've saw. I've never been there, and it's so How was that? pretty. It's 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 nice. The How'd food y'all get was in? good. The drinks was good. She made reservations. Really? We had to have reservations like everywhere. It's really oh yeah, nice. that's Miami. Reservations but, um, everywhere. Like we still had reservations and had to wait. Wow. Yeah. But so it was, really it was cool. so cool. It was so nice. Um, I want to go so bad. Me, being the explorer that I am, I asked if I could like see the be- the bedroom. Like mm-hmm. I was like, I want to see like his closet. I want to yeah. see where he went to the bathroom. Like I just wanted to see all that, you know. Right. But no, we can't. They didn't let you. No. Um, but the drinks were good. It was it was so pretty. Um, and then. Uh, the next day, we went to Sexy Fish. Which, okay, Sexy Fish is like, I, everyone's talking about it. It's like, is it a new? Is it new? I have no clue. Well, Sexy Fish is like going viral right now because mm-hmm. it has the, the most insane bathroom decor. Like, so gorgeous. You guys will have to look I, it up. Like, we spent more time probably in the bathrooms than we did eating. Okay, the food is all right. Mm-hmm. Like, I wouldn't go necessarily for the food, but, right. like, just, like, the atmosphere. The service was great. Like, it was just, it was, re- it was crazy. Yeah, I've but seen the, that the weird all over TikTok. Was, they, like, bring out warm towels. 
like when you first sit down that's to never do happened what to with? me i don't know we looked at them like like what maybe wipe your hands yeah it's so weird they were like hot hot like what you get at like nail salons like, and my hands on your hot feet. so that's like uncomfortable and i was just like we were just, we were just both like wiping our hands like now my hands are wet they're like i know how we could be even more bougie let's bring them out warm towels i was to their like table. what do i do with this so uh, nikki and i were just like just do it just yeah you know and then, like, the girls next to us sat down, and they, like, grabbed and they're like, what the fuck do we do with this? Yeah. We were, like, so same. Weird. It was, yeah. But then, um, then we went to South Beach that night. Um, we actually had reservations at Nobu. Okay. And we canceled now them. Yeah, you Nobu. Yeah. yeah, but we canceled the stream them. Stream knew you old me. Why did you cancel them? You were so tired. Um, yeah. It was just, like, we would you know, spend this much time getting ready and then go eat and then, like, have to go back and get ready for the next place. So it was right. just, like, we just wanted to, like, chill and stuff. So yeah. we went to, like, Wynwood area. Um, that was super fun. And we just, like, grabbed a drink and stuff. And yeah. That way we didn't have to, like, have a schedule. Yeah. It's always more fun just kind of – as long as you know the city. Like, it's yes. it's fun to kind of just, like, go oh, do – I like Wynwood. It's, like, more artsy. Yeah, for sure. I feel Wynwood like it's almost like an East Nashville. But it like is, yeah. Times 10. I thought I was going to move to Miami this past year. I, when I was going to – Same. Sign, I was, like, either going to re-sign here or considering, but – There was a time I wanted I think to go. I could live there. Either. It's too hot. Anyway, um, so, as I said before, Haley, makeup by Haley. I'm sure you know her. Um <laughs> – is an incredibly talented and successful makeup artist in Nashville. I swear to God, my face never... Like, when you guys see pictures of me that when Haley does my makeup, she loves the way... I, or, or, or hates it. I can't tell. I say her name. She mocks I me. Haley. Like Haley. Haley. Do I Haley. say it with an accent? Yeah, say it again. Haley. Anytime Haley does my it? makeup. Do you hear it? Haley. I don't hear anything. Hate my face Haley. looks incredible. <laughs> Better than it's ever looked. I literally look like a different person. Um, and I wanted to kind of dive into, like, how we got connected. And that story, do you remember? Did I DM you or did you DM I me? I was shook. You DM'd me. Did I? And you were like, hey, I want to do your makeup. Yeah. This bitch already had, like, 100K followers. Like, No, not yet. Cause remember, almost. Okay, she was, yeah. like, thriving. Like, she was... She's a, she's a celebrity makeup artist. Like, she does celebrities makeup. And I had um, a music video shoot yep. for Through, my um, a song that I put out, like, what was that, probably two years ago. And I think I, like, posted, like, how did you find me? Okay, so I think I found you on someone else's page. and I, But I, like, I had seen you before and stuff. And I was like... It was just something about you. I was just like, I would just want to do her face. You know when you just like see some. Well, maybe not. But like, <laughs> I see someone and I'm like, I love her vibe. I just love her face. Like, to I me, it's face. art. So it's like it's yeah. a palette. Like I want to. I want to. For sure, do her that's face. so cool. I'm mm-hmm. like honored. And then I think I followed you and you followed me back mm-hmm. and so I just messaged you and. Yeah. We did our first shoot together and I feel like I feel like we vibed because I didn't just show up and do your makeup and bounce like I helped she helped so I much. helped you with the outfit and just like making sure you were put together like I don't know yeah. I just I think from the jump to I also just like believed in her so much not even knowing her but I was just like I don't know I just feel like our energy is just like yeah. we're drawn to each other for sure and I was just like I really like her and I just like I want to be her friend, not yeah. just your makeup artist, yeah. but like your friend. Yeah. And we, and I'm not that type of person. I do not well, like either. reach out to people and be like let me do your face yeah. and uh, no. let's be friends. Like that's and like knowing you like so well now, I <laughs> can't believe that, that you reached out to that? me. Yeah, like this girl is booked and busy to the extreme. Like it is wild. I mean, she herself has become like a celebrity basically in Nashville. Like everybody, mm-hmm. but everybody wants you to do their makeup. Like mm-hmm. everybody's obsessed with you know her her posts and just like you get so much love. So. The fact that she reached out to me, like, blows my mind. That's amazing. I was, was so like, grateful. That was, like, 2020? hmm And, honestly, mm-hmm. the only reason that I didn't hit her up is because I thought she was, like, out of my league. Like, I was, like, this girl is not going to want to, like, mm-hmm. do little old me makeup. Stop. And so when she hit me up about the music video, I was just, like, thrilled. And then we had such a great shoot day. You did my makeup. Yeah. And since then, like, we, we clicked really fast. We were, like, oh, this is, like, more than just, like, makeup artists, you know. 
You quiet. know what's crazy? When I was making your birthday collage, I like I like went all the way back to like our first pictures, and I was like, it's just crazy to see how much like our style has changed. Yes, throughout the whole thing. Like we started with like glam, glam. Oh yeah, like dramatic eyes and all that stuff, it was and so now dramatic. it's just like super natural. Yeah, and yeah. It almost just like I don't know. It just looks so different. Yeah, it's just like. I feel like we've made that your signature. Yeah, we definitely have a signature mm-hmm. look that, because I, like, my biggest thing, guys, you know how, like, every, we all have insecurities, right? We all have things, like, about mm-hmm. our face that, like, we don't love. So my biggest thing is, like, my eyes, like, they kind of, like, droop downwards. Like, you know how some people's, like, are just kind of, like, round or, like, normal? Mine kind of, like, go a little downward. So I always, like, have Haley kind of, like, give me, like, the fox eye, like, kind of snatched, like. And I feel like. It took a couple tries to, like, figure out for sure, like, yeah. what works for you. Yeah. And I feel like, I mean, if any, like, makeup artist is watching, just, like, no. Sometimes it, you got have to collab on things. like mm-hmm. A couple times. Yeah, like, like with Bunny. Yeah. Like, like, she does her makeup certain ways and stuff. And so, like, it took a minute for us to find, like, okay, this is what we like. And it was, mm-hmm. like, hers mixed with mine. Yeah. And it made the perfect, like, signature. And yeah. I feel like that's the yeah. same with us. Yeah. Um, since you brought her up, I do want to touch on that. So you are Bunny's makeup artist mm-hmm. who Bunny is Jelly Roll's wife, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Do you do Jelly Roll's makeup ever too? I have, yeah. For yeah, like, like I touches. think the first time I ever did him was like Halloween, like two, three years ago. Um, and I do him for like music videos, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Halloween again, the past. You're very years, close with yeah. them. Yeah. Like, like, like family. family, literally like family. Yeah. Yeah, and which is so cool. So Bunny is like I look up to her in a lot of ways. She's a boss. Ass Bunny, bitch. yeah, she's so hot. First of all, I mean, mm-hmm. what she's what would you? She's in the sex industry. We yeah. can like yeah. the sex work industry. Mm-hmm. She like does like OnlyFans, but she also is like a business. Like oh, yeah. has a she's podcast. So she's incredibly intelligent. Her podcast has been top twenty since she started. Yeah, like so intelligent. Been through a fuck mm-hmm. ton, and like literally says whatever the fuck she wants like Mm -hmm. and I really admire that I mean I know that you know it might not be everybody's like taste to be that out there with yourself and your sexuality and and just all the details of your life but like I really look up to that and admire that and that's every Mm -hmm. all my favorite like influencers that's their style like I don't I don't like to like I don't want everybody to pretend everything's perfect all the time you know I'd rather like hear like the raw grittiness and I feel like Mm -hmm. she's she does that. She's, she's like, so funny. She too. yeah, and she's hilarious. Like, you like it, in person. Like, like she's funny online, but in person, she's even more funnier. Yeah, she's even more beautiful. Like, yeah. she's yeah. stunning. I love that. absolutely stunning. And I love their relationship. They're so fun to watch. They're funny. Yeah. <laughs> What's the craziest shoot you've ever done with her? Can you say? Oh my gosh, <laughs> if I can think, the first one we ever did, we got kicked out. Really? Why? Yeah. Because um. So, very first shoot, it was, like, September of maybe 2019, and we were at one of these, like, high-rises down here, and we were using their, like, you know, where you, like, have, like, a lounge area and stuff? Yeah. So, we were in there, and I guess I don't think the lady knew that we were doing, like, not so much clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, Sexy there were shit. cameras in there, and this, like, Karen lady uh, all of worst. a sudden comes up and was, like yelling her because she had her vagina on books and stuff and she was like this has got to stop all this stuff she and had so, her vagina on books in the lounge <laughs> it was such a cute picture though like they <laughs> look so good but um but yeah she was like y'all need to stop this whatever so Love we knew people. though that by the time she, we had at least like five minutes right by the time that she went up there down back to her desk to watch the cameras again so we shot as much as we nice. could in like five minutes I guess we went a little over, and she saw it again. Oh, no. Yeah, we terrified. had to go after that. Like, yeah. So we were, like, packing everything up yeah. and got the hell out of there. And it's crazy because the, sa- the next shoot with the same photographer it happened again. We got kicked out again. Oh, yeah. Well, that's – I mean, that's even happened to me. Like, I was up on a <sighs> rooftop, like, in bikinis and, like, a parking garage rooftop taking pictures, and, like, a guy came down and was like, there are people working. It's like – I'm not sure my they fault. enjoy it, though. Like, yeah. Also <laughs> – you're welcome, but yeah. <laughs> that's not my fault that, you know, you have all these people working in the office and it's like, 
you guys are just so distraught. I, I just hate that shit. I really do. Like we Is it illegal though? Like is it illegal? No, it's to not be illegal. Bikini, it's literally so. just people being Karen's. I don't know what the guy word is for Kevin. Karen's. Ke- Kevin and Karen's, like mm-hmm. we're over Wait, do you. Do you guys. follow that account? No. There's like a like a there's a Karen in it. It's called like Stop That Karen, I think, and then Stop That Karen. No, it's 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 a real thing and it sucks. But so even like someone like Bunny, it's like she just like I think she inspires a lot of people to like knock it fuck. And I was yeah. thinking about this too. When remember the day like I think you were like putting foundation like on my nipples or something because I was like wearing a see through top. Yep. I remember. And I was like I tried to color correct them. Yeah, she tried to color correct my <laughs> nipples so you wouldn't see them through the the sheer top. And that was like like that was like our third time doing my makeup. Yeah. And I was like like oh this is like funny and she's like I, like, I literally no. put oil on Bunny's vagina. Okay, I've oiled is, every part of her body. It's this like is the nothing. best part about my job. Yeah, she's like, yeah. I love this part. Like this, this is, is great. nothing. Yeah, but they really helped me kind of like come out of my shell yeah. like that. Like, yeah. I feel like in the beginning I used to be like, oh my god, it's her boobs. Right. Like, you know. Right. Now I'm like, bring out the vagina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show us the titties. <laughs> it's just it's normal. That's It'd be so weird fun. if she had clothes on. Right. I'm just so right. used to. Them. I love like, that though. Oh yeah. I love that. That's so sick. So besides Bunny and, and working with Jelly Roll, mm-hmm. um, who's like another big person that you work with pretty frequently? Uh, I would say probably K Michelle. Oh yeah, yeah. It's probably the other big one I do. Yeah, a lot. Um, and then I feel like I I feel like my clientele is kind of everywhere. Yeah. Like I don't stay in one certain genre mm-hmm. for sure. So like I have clientele from like love and hip-hop and then it goes to like gospel Mm -hmm. and then it goes to wwe to country to rock yeah it just it's all over the place so so. sick to pageants yeah yeah and you did yeah you did uh what's the big pageant called is it mrs Mrs. it's mrs america mrs america married it's literally like a stem off of that okay cool yeah so you did that this past year you also did the Grammys? I did like, my first Grammys. She yeah. did makeup for the Grammys this year, you guys. Yeah. And she was at, you were there, right? I was there. I didn't go to the Grammys because I was dead. I had seven people. Wow. So I'm extremely thankful for that. Yeah, that's um, so sick. Um, But yeah, I didn't go to the Grammys. I didn't want to. I really never go to award shows. So like I've done CMTs, CMAs like for years, Um, but I've never gone to a show. And the thing is, I had like people having like extra tickets and like you could go and all yeah. stuff and I just like just I'm so dead afterwards like right getting other people ready all day I just don't want to get myself ready right at the end of and it's like a lot of like you're it's energy like you're so that's why I say to people yeah. like even with my job I soak up so much energy that by the time I'm done performing mm-hmm. normally I don't want to go out I don't really want to hang out I mean there are times I don't even want to mm-hmm. talk after I feel so bad no. but I just it's exhausting but it it's is. also like our passions in it. I'm so yeah. like yeah, I definitely don't ever get tired of fields, it. But maybe one day I'll go to something, maybe when I'm there. Yeah, well duh. You know what I was gonna say too. What's gonna be a really magical moment for for Haley and I is like when I perform like a big music festival. Yes. I think that's gonna be really because we said that like the first day. The first time you were like, I the can't f- wait to do your makeup at Coachella. That's what you said. Yes. I. Jen, I'm putting it out there right now. Let's manifest it's going it. To, it's it going is going to happen. to happen. It's absolutely going to happen. And isn't it crazy? Like, I remember maybe even your first, like, concert I went to. Yeah. I think it was at, was it at That was Tin fun. Roof? Yeah, I remember we did the dark eye look. Yes. Oh, my God. I had a lime green short wig on, and we did, like, a super yeah, dramatic. That one look yes. was beautiful. It was a glossy and black mm-hmm. lids. I still, it was so yeah. cool. I, but I remember, like, saying, you know, like, you're performing in front of, like, Maybe it was like a, not even a hundred people yeah. in there, and I was just like, while you were performing, I was just like, I was like, these people don't even know <laughs> who's on stage, right? I was like, just wait till like she's at Bridgestone, she's yeah. at Nissan Stadium, and these people are like, oh, I remember watching her at at Tin Roof or yeah. her event she put on, right? Or, or like, how about like all anything. the acoustic shows that I play? I'm always yeah. like, like no one will be mm-hmm. listening to me at my acoustic shows, and I'm like. Just wait. One day, one day, or nobody will be there. Like I've, yeah, I mean, but I, I love that. And I think that even just our growth so far has been so yeah. cool. You know, I mean, we've done a lot of really, really fun stuff together. I feel like we believed in each other since yes, day one. Yes, absolutely. For sure. Aww. I love you. 
Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm, like, Haley's my go-to, and my goal eventually is to, like, you know, have you whenever I need mm-hmm. you, basically. That's, yeah. you know, when I'm hella famous, um, that's that's what's going to happen. Yes, it will happen. It will happen. Mm-hmm. Also, I, I just thought of this earlier, and I was, like, I did a meditation before my birthday and kind of, like, manifested a lot of stuff. And I was, like, I'm going to wake up every day, no matter what my mood is, and be, like, you're going to be the biggest artist in the world. Mm-hmm. And I know that sounds crazy and, mm-hmm. like, very, like, that's, like, okay, relax. But also, like, why not? Like, why? I feel like I should yeah. w- be waking up every single day and being, like, you're going to you're gonna be a yeah. huge, biggest artist in the world and you're going to perform Coachella. And, like, I want to try to say these things every single day of my 26th year. And I just want to see because what happens. Because then you're going to look back and be, like, remember when. Yeah, absolutely. No, Even with, like, Coachella, it's, like, I genuinely believe that, like, we, we could get there, you I know? Do- you will I can you just fit that so well like, yeah I don't is there Stream someone I music, call <laughs> like is there a number I need to yeah we'll we'll we fit, get we're on that it. call we're someone. working on it um but besides like you being so talented with you know your creativity and the actual skill of doing makeup you're also like a really incredible businesswoman and you're very organized like one thing I noticed about you so Haley gives lessons I don't mm-hmm. don't get all excited her books are yeah no really packed but (laughs) she does give makeup lessons Mm -hmm. and I remember I was a model for one of your classes once or something and I noticed that you were so you come very like prepared and you give like a gift at the end like a little bottle of champagne like I just feel like it was it was Mm -hmm. so professional you certify them so Mm -hmm. like where did you learn or how did you learn how to like become such a strong like businesswoman do you always feel like you were like that like have that I don't feel like anyone really taught me anything. Mm-hmm. I think it was just trial and error. Yeah. And just kind of learning from my own mistakes and maybe even just, like, seeing other things from, like, like, I would watch, like, online classes from, like, some of my favorite makeup artists and just, like, taking little things from each class and stuff mm-hmm. and um, just kind of applying that to me, making it my own. But, like, I've actually, I've never taken an in-person class with anyone yeah that's like so, so i don't really have like anything like that to go off of but like when i was like younger and i like i don't know i had some makeup artists i looked up to like i would just like watch online tutorials which mm-hmm. is what what i'm going to be doing mm-hmm. soon in the next like month or two we actually filmed a tutorial that was literally like a year ago we did film a tutorial i felt that so iPhone. long i have probably like five tutorials i've recorded and oh. i have not edited any of them yeah and it's just I just I don't have time I know she's so busy like I'm not even here she's always traveling and it's crazy because it's just like do I even use those because I feel like all my techniques and products yeah at this point I would just re-record them and yeah it sucks though one thing that I think that like a huge lesson that I've learned in the past year with like because you know being an artist you are your own business Mm -hmm. and I had to realize that I had to delegate some tasks, which I think is really hard for us because we're so like, like it's our, like our mm-hmm. baby. Like I said before, this is, you know, like everyone's going to fuck us. it up. It's going to be me. Yeah. This is everything to us. So to, to delegate tasks is scary, but it has changed the game, you know, for me, I'm even thinking like mm-hmm. you should have someone edit it for you because I know. it's like, you think that you can do all these things, but it's, it's just, it's overwhelming. And yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so where did you, like, where was your origin story with makeup? Where, when did you start? So I've always done art since I was little. Like Um, drawing, painting, mm -hmm. painting, drawing. So my grandpa is a professional painter and he was an art teacher for most of his life. And then, um, my grandma on my dad's side, she was a professional painter as well. I never got to meet her, but, um, and then my dad also did art. My brother does art. So I feel mm-hmm. like I just have it in my family. Yeah. Um. So, like, I feel like I, like, grew up seeing, this sounds weird, but, like, almost different colors than more people. Like, yeah. Like, I could pick out more colors, like, in art class that I feel like, Like, I went know. together and look. Yeah. yeah, like, I could just see it naturally. Yeah. So, like, color theory just kind of came to me naturally and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, like, I never really did a whole lot of makeup in high school like I was a tomboy I played sports all my life yeah so I feel like it wasn't until my like maybe junior senior year is when I kind of started doing my own makeup a little bit more mm-hmm. but like freshman year of um college I I was an art major and 
because I was at like a new school, I was like, oh, I'm going to do my makeup more. I'm going to look cuter because, you know, college boys. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I had a job, so I had my own money. And of course, I'm going to blow that on makeup. Mm-hmm. And that's, I feel like, kind of when YouTube started yeah being like the big. beauty yeah so i feel like that's also how i got my start um on like instagram and stuff is because i started almost as like a uh like guru or like uh-huh. influencer kind yeah. of like when it was a beauty influencer it wasn't like right because that was today. huge like yeah huge. i mean i don't obviously do that anymore but i used to do my own makeup so much and like my main page was just me um like all makeup pictures yeah just like different looks on myself like if you go um on my page now you might see like two photos of myself yeah it's all our clients it's i do the same look on myself every time now i don't ever have time to branch out on myself i don't want to yeah you know i don't know but um so yeah i started in college just like doing different looks on myself and then like I would do, like, some pageants and stuff there. I was in a sorority, so I did, like, formals and stuff for my, like, sisters. And then um, I had a theatrical makeup class. Mm. And that's where I started with special effects. So just, like, theater makeup and stuff, and I just really enjoyed that. That was, like, the only class I didn't want to skip. And um, and my teacher was just, like, you're really good. You you should pursue that. And I was just, like, okay. So I dropped out. So yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't afraid to just be like, okay, fuck it. I'm going to go somewhere. Yeah, I love that. And I picked Nashville. um, I went to a makeup school here and I picked Nashville for one, because it was like, I feel like there wasn't a huge like makeup industry here. Like I felt like it was either, you know, you go to LA or New York Mm -hmm. and I was like, I want to get my name out in another city. So that way heavily. So that way. I can be flown to other cities because you're going to hear my name more because it's not like in an oversaturated place. So like I had a plan before I came here. Mm-hmm. And so now I can travel everywhere because I'm like central. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's easy to go to L.A., New York, my, like everywhere. But like I feel like when you're in L.A., you're almost like you mainly stay in L.A. Yeah. I mean, there's some people that travel, of course, but just like it's different. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, I just, I dropped out of college. I took that semester off, and I, like, did clients back home and stuff. That's mm-hmm. when I charged, like, like $45, maybe? $40, oh $45. Yeah. And Started from the bottom. Now we hit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, wow. That was crazy to think. Yeah. I charged that, that little. It's not even the cost of a foundation now. Yeah. I was just going to say, like, my NARS foundation is, like, 50 50 Yeah. yeah. We, I use it because Haley uses it on me. So. Yep. Yeah, um, wow. So, yeah, I took that semester off, and then I moved here January of 2015. So I've been here a little over seven years now. Me too. And as soon as I graduated my makeup school, um, I, w- I worked at MAC. Right. And That's what I was curious about. Yes. Yeah, so I got my start during, like, the OG MAC days, I feel like, kind of. MAC was, like, that bitch. Like, yeah, sh- like... There wasn't a whole lot of, like, these Instagram brands or, like... I mean, Sephora was popular, yeah. Was Ulta a thing? I don't even know. I don't remember. I, I, had, I think Sephora... I heard of Sephora before I heard of Ulta, yeah. for sure. But it was mostly, like, Mac. Um, and so, yeah, I actually learned so much at Mac. It taught me... It taught me a lot. But, um... So, I built my clientele through Mac. Um, I still have clients... Really? with me that I have so actually my first Grammy client was one of my first faces at the mat counter for her prom and it was just like such a like full circle moment oh I can't even imagine it was crazy and she actually won a Grammy oh my god who was yeah. it um her name's Lizzie oh um, wow Lizzie Morgan she is in Maverick City okay which is like a gospel group wow um, yeah it's that's crazy crazy how that happened but yeah I just um and I've always been a hustler so like even when I worked at Mac like I was working at Mac I did clients and then I was also like a host at a restaurant like I made sure I was always working Mm -hmm. like I didn't have any downtime and I've just been the same ever since and um I think it got I was always working at least three jobs um until maybe like 2018 Mm -hmm. 2019 and then I've just done makeup 
full time ever since then. You're your own boss. Yeah. You run That's shit. Nice. Yeah. That's so sick. So what was your who was the first client that you got that you were like, oh my fucking like who's your biggest client at first? Uh Nikki Baby. So Wait, Miss Nikki, Nikki Baby, she's on Love and Hip Hop. Um, oh, okay, yeah. She was my first client seven years ago in August. She had like an appearance here. She um, like a club you. hosting. Yeah, she DM'd wow. me on Instagram. And it's crazy though, because like little old me, like I was still at Mac and um actually that's when Nikki lived with me. We lived oh, in Gallatin. That's her friend. Who and came um uh she sent me a DM that if I was available and she was like it was the first time like a verified account like over a million followers like messaged oh me or followed me or anything so i was like yeah i'm gonna make anything work and i right. remember my dad was in town and he was like Go. like we were in the middle of dinner and she messaged me because normally like celebrities are more last minute yeah they're like uh, hey i need someone right now i need someone in two hours i'm like okay yeah and um and it's always late at night because like you know, the appearances, like, they weren't till like, later. Right. Um, but I was like, oh, my God, yes, like, this is a big opportunity, you yeah. know? And so we were in the middle of dinner, and I felt bad because my dad was there visiting. Mm. My dad was like, go. He was like, go do it. And he was like, you have to do this. Yeah. And I remember um, Nikki and then our other friend that was there, they were like, can we be your assistant? And I was like, yeah. Because I <laughs> Know that now, not to bring two assistants with you to a that are for, that are for your friends. Yes. Like <laughs> they really just like they like didn't know what to do either. They were like, oh, here's a here's a brush. <laughs> like they were not assisting me with any. Just like kind of watching. It was right, so funny right. now that I look back on it. Yeah. Though. Um, but I'm glad I had them because I was so nervous oh, and they helped calm me down. Yeah. Um, but it went really really good. I still remember the look we did. I still remember things I used on her. I remember the lip liner I used because I gave it to her. I had an extra. Aww. It was like my go-to lip color at the time. It was like a deep mauve color mm. from MAC. And I actually gave it to her. Um, and then I still do her makeup to this day. Wow. Yeah. I did her makeup. I don't even know the last time I did. I think I drove all the way to Kentucky for her and stayed with her in this little hotel doing like a tornado. Um, it was crazy. But like... Now we're like, we text and we're like, right. I miss you, all this yeah. stuff. Um, she lives in um, Hollywood, um, or like Bever- Beverly Hills area, mm. I think it is. Um, so I try to see her every time I go to LA and stuff. Yeah. But it's just crazy how she was my first client and I still do her to this day. Right. That is so yeah. cool. Yeah. I, you must have, like, that must have been a huge moment for you. It where was. You're like, so okay, like, like oh my god, I'm posting. This is for real. Like this yeah. is like this can really be like my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then because of her, I started getting multiple. Right. It was like a um, ripple effect. Mm-hmm. And then there was a club I used to go to all the time here, and the owner was, um, she was one of my clients. I did her makeup all the time. So that's also how I got a lot of my clientele. So she was so nice to give me like recommend everyone to me, and I just feel like everyone just people would see that, oh, I would do this person, so they will go to me as well. Right. And now those are, like, regular yeah. clients, so it's crazy. And d- your Instagram is incredible. I mean, it's... Don't look at it. Now. I literally haven't posted in over a month. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel that Instagram's... I, I, I have phases, but... It's a job. It's, it is a it's, job, and it's how we get jobs, right? It's like, yeah. I can't even tell you how many, like, opportunities... I've just been so busy. Like, I just... I really... I don't know. I feel like I can't just like post and go. Like I have to like I don't know. I have to like monitor it. I have right. to like well, and keep up like, with it or yeah, whatever. But like stories, it's easy. Like I always have a story. Yeah, and stuff, me too. But, like, I'm the same way. Also, mm-hmm. it's like I think that for makeup, Instagram is literally like your resume. It's right? my portfolio, and that's exactly why I tell people there's not a lot of me in there because right. I'm huge on diversity. So. Mm-hmm. I want to show that I can do all skin tones, you yep. know, all of that. Like, I don't want to just show one race on my right, page. That's right. not me at all. Yeah. So I don't want to show just me. Right. Or, you know, so like, that's another reason why I'm so picky with my Instagram. Cause like, I have to make sure I post the right clients in the order. Yeah. You know? So yeah. like, 
I'm just, I'm stuck right now. Yeah. I have so many clients too. I have so many photos to post and it's just like thinking about doing it overwhelms me. I know. I just don't do it. I know. That's how I am too with posting. It's, it's really hard. I feel like if I didn't like rely on Instagram for job, like business wise, I probably wouldn't have one. Right. I used to have a personal Instagram and I didn't post in like five years. So I just deleted it. Yeah. Because well, Instagram's kind of like, I don't know. It's like falling off a little bit, I will it's say. It's definitely dying out, yeah. for sure. Well, I'm trying to be... do better on TikTok, but TikTok is so hard. You I love got TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just... I love TikTok. I can't keep up. Like, I can barely make one post on Instagram, mm-hmm. let alone three to times a, a day. Yeah. I know. And that's what... I hate that they've, like, shoved that down my throat. Like, yeah. I have to post three times a day. Like... I don't have... TikTok. I don't want to be on camera three times a day, honestly. So. Yeah, no. I just, but it's just like, I'll do good for a couple of days and then I fall off for a yeah. month. Yeah. So it's just like, it's hard. I need to find someone to like run all mm-hmm. that for sure. That would help. Send in your applications. <laughs> Please. I go by Haley at Yahoo.com. Yes. She needs help y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, but who would you say is like your favorite makeup artist? Like who do you? My favorite of all time. Yeah. Like who are you like, wow, like that's. That's what I look up to. I most. love there's a couple. I wouldn't say I have one, really. I have a couple. Um, Patrick Ta. Mm, yeah, you do love Patrick. Love Ta. him. Um, one of my friends, his name is Kevin Long. He's in Houston. I heard of him, I think. He's incredible. Um I love Ash Combe. She's um Ash Home, actually. But um she does like Chloe a lot and stuff. Mm. Um, Ariel, of course. Yeah. His work is just mm-hmm. amazing. Um, Kim's. Uh, Etienne Ortega. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but he does like, um, he does some Kardashians too, but like, um, he does Christina Aguilera, just like so mm. good. I just, I don't know. I like how they all like do skin. Yeah. And stuff. Skin is. I have I, a lot. I think like the number one thing that I've learned from you is like how important like skin is. Yes. and skin prep is like for, for the sure. makeup yeah i mean i mean your makeup's only good as the skin underneath yeah so. yeah you can't expect to look airbrushed if your skin is right right not airbrushed so who would you be like your dream client hmm. like if you could do anyone of like, course you know like kim k like uh, of course my idol but i think another one that like i'm really manifesting and i think will happen is doja cat i love <gasps> Doja Cat I literally so got much. chills because like I could see that I just like I feel like our personalities are mm-hmm. kind of the same because I'm very weird mm-hmm. like that and I just I feel like it'd be great yeah and that's a good one her face is just I know um, her eye shape yeah everything so when I, the first time I actually went to LA I probably dm'd like 50 people and I was just, just trying you. to do I was trying to do anyone right just to get my name out there and when I tell you I probably only got like two three responses really yeah um but someone who messaged me I think it was like this was like last May and she messaged me like maybe a couple months ago but I was like wow it took that long for her to respond but I still got my name in the door with her Mm -hmm. and she loved my work and was like I would love to work with you you know when like COVID dies down. I think she just had a baby. But, like, she was like, yeah, I would love to work together. Like, blah, blah, blah. But it was Masika. Um, I don't think I know who that is. Khadija, Masika. Uh-uh. Um, the twins that are, like, BFFs with Chloe. Oh, yeah. Wait, yes. have you ever seen Sky High? Uh-uh. You, have y'all seen Sky High? You know uh-uh. who I'm talking about. You know the twin cheerleaders? No. It was one of them. No. Oh, it, it, it's a movie? Yeah. Oh, it's a superhero movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. So we need to watch that. Um, yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, I was like, I was dying. Cause That's so crazy. Yeah. I know. So, like, to any makeup artists that are coming up and trying to get build a name for themselves, what do you think is, like, some really important things that they should focus on to um, kind of get to the next level? Professionalism. Yes. Is probably my number one. Totally. I agree. know so many great makeup artist like amazing their work is so good but it's the professionalism that some of them lack Mm -hmm. and it just it makes people not want to work with them again and it's just like 
and just like separating kind of personal from business as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say that would probably be the main one. Is That's professionalism. so true. Even I will say like as an artist, I the vibe and the energy that you're giving me, like doing my makeup or my hair, is so important because like yeah. I'm about to go on stage or like I'm about to have a photo shoot or film something like if you're like I like if you're hectic and like chaotic and or just like rude or rude and just or la- like you have to keep in mind when you're doing people's makeup there you know you're like the last person they're seeing before they're going. well it's also just like they're trusting you with their entire face yeah yeah so when you're giving off just like yeah just unprofessional energy like I know it's a fun it job could and a fun thing. the artist though for sure well. which like I've had happen like with with hair stuff before I mean I've I've definitely like had to you know kind of move away from like working with certain people because it, it just like it wasn't the energy that I needed yeah. and it sucks though because some people do such great work but I know. it's just like if like I don't want to have to deal with stuff later down the road that could jeopardize my career right. or something right. like that that's such good advice, actually. Mm-hmm. I, would, I wouldn't have thought of that being the thing, but that's, that's I would say so that's true. my number one. But yeah. another thing would just be, like, um, I always say it's not what you know, it's who you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so just, like, finding that one person, constantly networking, um, just being consistent, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, just marketing to the right clientele. Um, but, again, I think the main thing is professionalism, yeah. for sure. I would agree with that. Even just, like, in your marketing, too. Like, yeah. Because, I like, if someone looks at your Instagram, they're going to bought a book with you because of... Yes. How... Put poor, your Instagram... Yeah. Make your Instagram your portfolio. Yeah. You know? So, like, when I go... Say I want to get my nails done by someone, which mm-hmm. I have a girl, so yeah. don't think I'm cheating on you. Ricky, Can you show them? I love you. Yeah. yeah. Or, I said it. Wait. I almost said Haley. Haley. Oh, yeah. Ricky, we were going to do ASMR. You. Haley always has the most bomb nails. My nail girl, Ricky, I'm not even going to give you her Instagram because she's hot <laughs> and nope. But um, where was it going? With Your, her Instagram is like, what made is Okay, so yeah, like just, just like as an example, if I was trying to get my nails done by someone, if I go to someone's Instagram and I have to scroll through 30 pictures of your dog or mm-hmm. your cat to find one nail picture, it's just going to look to me that you don't really do it all the time. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm like, okay, next. Yeah. Even though you could be so great, but if you don't show your work and make it look like your portfolio, then that's going to turn people away immediately because people shop with their eyes. Yeah. So if your feed is inviting and it's just like, like I think another a huge thing if you do makeup, a lot of people post pictures, but it's far away. Mm-hmm. So like, it'll be like the whole, like I can't see the makeup. So make sure it's just like, close up it's good lighting it's good quality like simple just, background yes I hate not, people post makeup pictures and there's so much going on the, in the background's photo. chaotic yeah um the hair's not done or just yeah was, you know because then yeah. it kind of takes away from the focus on the makeup as well mm-hmm. and it sucks sometimes though because like you could have someone that had like such a good face but then but if their, their hair is not yeah. done or it's up in a scarf or whatever then it's just like it it there goes the whole picture. Yeah, yeah. You want it to be finished. Yeah. Basically when you post it. Right. Um, but yeah, just making your fee look as presentable as possible. I always say also less verbiage. Um, like, you know how people will post just like, it'll be just like a white background with some words on it. You mm-hmm. know, that's like, get up and do this tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Don't post that. Yeah. You can post that on your story. But like, that yeah. doesn't serve purpose on your feed. For, it, for a makeup artist, for sure. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't want to scroll through 20 quotes also yeah. to find. Oh, wait, a lot you know of I mean? a lot of aesthetics people do that. You're yeah. right. And it's just like, I I, I mean, every once in a while is okay. If yeah. it's like on theme or something, or even at the end of like a slideshow. But like, when most of your page is like verbiage, like, it just, it doesn't draw yeah. to me, I feel like. That's and so I, true. I just... I feel like it does. Like, I want to see your work. Mm-hmm. The whole thing. Yeah. I want to see your work. Yeah. It's a portfolio. You wouldn't yeah. put a photo like that in an album. Right, right. You know, so that's yeah. the same with Instagram. Yeah. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. go look at her Instagram. It's amazing. Not right um, now, it's, it Okay. Work. I have... <laughs> so it, if... I know that you give lessons, so I'm not going to, like, ask you to just, like, dive deep into, like, your routine. Yeah. But give us, like, 
the top three things that you would say change the face, like change the game. Like when you do these things, you're like, oh my God, like, like what's your like go-to, you know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. your go-tos. Brushes for sure. Not um, me with my elf brushes. Yeah, we need Talks. to go through that once we're done with this. Because I want to throw them away. That's what You'll I should have got for your birthday. So you will literally throw them all away. Yep, I will. Um, but your brushes are your tools. So it's just like, I always tell people like, say I'm going to bake a cake. And you go and buy all the same ingredients. But your tools are not the same Mm -hmm. they're like older or they're like not working whatever but it's the same ingredients and you put it together but it doesn't taste like mine yeah it's literally because your tools are not right i mean you can't put stuff together with broken tools right right so it's literally the same thing yeah um but just like i would say another thing i feel like i say the most in my lessons like two things um is tapping like stamping you can feel me on your face. Like, you, I yeah. I don't do a lot of swiping. I feel like that's a lot of people's mistake is a lot of people will swipe stuff on and that will like take... Like powder, like swipe. Yeah, and that'll take... So when you, you're you using powder to set, mm-hmm. which means anything underneath it is liquid and it's, like, not set yet. So when you're swiping that, you're going to be taking yeah, that off. that makes sense. And then that's how things look splotchy and... Just like you can see skin through. Mm -hmm. So then when you try to put bronzer on top of that, then that's also not going to look good. Do you stamp bronzer too? I forget. Yeah. Everything. Wow. Okay. Literally everything. That's good to know. See, I didn't. Um, I be swiping. Swiping, no swipey. Nope. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, Another huge thing I would say, I feel like I say a lot in my lessons, is work in one area at a time. So this goes to like... um, eyeshadow or really anything bronzer um foundation i say is the biggest one so like i always start in one area and just like work in that area before you like go all over the face so don't just like dot everywhere and just go ham everything she's saying you guys i do (sighs) i mean but you still look good so i know but it's working now i'm like oh and it makes sense like why i feel like leveled up but once you like like, try these little things it's little things normally the details the um details. i mean product is a huge play which i'm not going to give away too many products um yeah. but i would say my favorite setting powder is laura mercier um tried and true yes What's and i use but make sure it's the translucent a lot of people get that like under eye brightening one and that one's terrible and yeah. will give you flashback in photos so don't use that but my favorite brush to use is by bedellium tools and it's number 944 and that with the Laura Mercier just like setting the face literally makes it look like butter. Yeah. Like it looks it looks so good. Yeah. But yeah, just being and also having a light hand. That's the last thing I'm gonna say. A light hand. A light hand. So yeah. I always say like pinky up, like when you're doing like eyeshadow or like anything, and it, it'll give you a lighter hand. But when you're holding it like a crayon, mm. you know, it's it's not gonna I also like how about when people like I when people lean their whole like hand like I barely yeah touch, no touch the face touch the head like and that's another thing I feel like I have to teach makeup artists when I do lessons is like not holding like my head the client while you're, like, not doing like, my eyeshadow. touching all over their face and yeah stuff. like I want them my goal is for you to like fall asleep like right. I want it to be relaxing it you know it's very relaxing yeah. and she'll like put on so, eye patches yeah. before I yeah I just love it I feel yeah. so glam yeah. um those are amazing because I I didn't know like those mm-hmm. little things. See, and that, I I do think Have we it's, not done a lesson. No, we need to. That's crazy. We need yeah, to. Yeah, we do. Because it's those little things with makeup. I think that really do mm-hmm. make the difference. And I our culture is very like into makeup, so I think this is sure. so yeah. helpful. And it doesn't even like even if you don't want to go buy expensive products and stuff. Like I'm not saying you have to go buy everything high end, which some things do make a difference. But even just um. Even just those little, like, techniques changing Mm -hmm. can make a huge difference in everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing that with us. Makeup by Haley. You're welcome. That'll be 150. (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) Oh, my God. Um, Okay, so we're going to move off the topic of makeup a little bit. I I just have a question because a lot of my guests right now are like, 
you know, we live in Nashville. You've been here seven mm -hmm. and a half years. So have I almost. I think I've been here seven years. Yep. We love, we're tourists. So, like, we really like to experience, um, what would, like, food, drink, like, you yes. know, going out and stuff. So, what what is, like, your go-to favorite restaurant in Nashville? I love Virago. Virago. Great Virago. sushi spot. I think that's where I'm going to go on my birthday. Just Great sushi spot. It's Can one of my favorites. Me? You want to come? Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to go, well, I'm not going to say where I'm going to go, but okay. I'm going to go to Aladdin's after if you want to. Um, okay. Come smoke hookah. Cut that out because I don't want people coming. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We'll um, bleep the name. Uh, but Virago super good. And I'm not like a huge sushi person. person. So um, I feel like you always are eating sushi and poke. Always. Like, oh, that's another place. You love uh, poke. She's poke the queen of bros. Poke. It's poke. off of Elliston, I think. It always looks so good when you post so it in your good. story. It's called a shaka is what mm. I get. And it's, now I want one. Pro now I I'm know. hungry. I know. Wait, let's go to the food hall after this. Okay. <laughs> they have poke over there. They do? Yeah. I want Shake Shack. Is Shake Shack over there? Uh -huh, I think so. Um, okay, so Virago. <laughs> yeah, Virago's really good. And then, like, as far as going out, you like nudies. Where else do you like to go out? Are you gonna say? That's a, I <laughs> the weekend. I haven't been to the weekend in years. Oh, okay. Honestly, I thought that you loved that. Place. I I honestly prefer staying home. Yeah, you, um, yeah. I, you don't really. Go I don't out like have. That. No, I probably go out a couple times a month. If I do, it's like maybe an event I have, and then I'll go to like nudies. Yeah. Like, I can't even think of another place I go to. Well, when you know a spot is good, it's like you don't. I don't want to waste my time. Yeah, that. for it's, sure, for yeah. sure. Especially when I like know the bouncer and can. Yeah. Skip the line. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. That's great. I love that. So nudies and. Bravo. Yeah, nudies rooftop though. Yeah. Um, my go-to used to be. Tarbouche years ago. What is that? It was is a it hookah? hookah? Bar. See, yeah. she loves hookah, and like I don't understand the point of hookah. Like when like I hit my vape, and like I want to inhale that and like get the little buzz from it. Mm -hmm. But like you hookah. get a head buzz off hookah. What? A hundred percent. I wasn't doing it right. Yes, I I used to smoke hookah like literally every day when I first wow. moved here. I was a little wild, but Nikki and I mm. were at Tarbouche every day. Like, wow. so, like sometimes at like five p.m. Oh shit. To like five a.m. Smoking yeah. hookah. But that was like our family, you know. So like, yeah. We was like so we wouldn't even like drink sometimes. Like we mm. would just like. Smoke hookah, like eat, just hang out with our friends. Was know? it was it um, Mediterranean food? Um, Middle Eastern. Okay, Middle Eastern. Um, That's what I meant. Yeah. My yeah. geography. It's right next to Sitar. The Indian restaurant. Okay. You know what that is? Mm -mm. You know where Centennial City is, right? West End. Oh yeah, I go right there every there. week. <laughs> <laughs> Same, right behind there. Oh, it's something yeah. else now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. something else now. I don't even know if they're open now, but I miss it. It was like a good time. It was like, it was like peak of 2016, which I feel like was like the last best good year. Really? Yeah. Nikki and I talk about that all the time. We're going to have to have 26, a good 2016 one. was our year. It was just like, maybe because we were like going out every single day and like, I don't know. It was just, it was also the music, I feel like. 2016 so music good. was really good. I think it just really reminds us of, of like views. Yes. From Drake. So it's just like that whole album was just like yeah. that whole year. Each and Drake album has a nostalgic year time of like yes. my life. Like I can, I totally know what you're saying. Like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, like views time. Like that was, that was a really good year mm -hmm. for me too. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So guys, I feel like we have... Just giving you so much good info yeah. in this episode. Um, I want to ask you a spicy question. Oh, God, I forgot and about this. And normally part. I would have I would have um, jalapeno tequila, which I'm going to start doing. But Haley and I have had a, we had a long. I don't want to hear the word tequila. We've had a long couple a days. Um, so we're not going to do shots tonight. But normally we can, expect that. We can chug champagne. For sure. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask you a spicy I'm question. scared. Just, I think you're gonna be mad at me. Fuck. <laughs> if you don't want to answer it, you don't have to. I could come up with another, but I came up with one I think is funny and good. Okay, ready? That's good. Who's your favorite OnlyFans creator? Oh, Bunny, hundred percent. No. That's give like, us, give us a male. 
I'm not, I don't know any males. Oh, I thought you like followed like an OnlyFans dude that you showed me like on TikTok once. Did I? Okay, my spicy question went to shit. No, I, I thought like you showed me girls. an only- Oh, okay. We love that. Actually, I think that's Allie more also spicy. follows yeah. girls. Like, Actually, wait, that's spicy. All girls. She follows girls, which we yeah. love. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, guys. Uh, yeah. I swore that you like showed me this dude and you were like, oh, I think you were just like, oh, he has an OnlyFans. On TikTok? I don't know. We love the men out here making hmm. OnlyFans, though. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, but I mainly subscribe to girls. Girls do be killing it out mm-hmm. there. But I'd say bunny. Bunny. That's a good answer, yeah, actually, because sure. we love bunny. and I really don't watch it a whole lot. Like, mm-hmm. normally I'll, I'll just, like, do it to support. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but sometimes. You're like, yeah. hey, girl, just just here supporting you. Pussy looks great. <laughs> Tits look fire. <laughs> love. Here's $10. <laughs> Here's a tip. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, now you have me thinking who's. I don't remember. It was like a TikTok guy. I thought I a TikTok. I for some reason I just thought you would say a guy, but girls for the win. Mm-hmm. Period. Yes. Girls for the win. Yes, that's a good way to cap off this episode. I think. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for Thank being you. on the green room. That's so much fun. I'm so glad. Did you have fun? I did. Yeah. I'm so happy that you. I just felt like we were just this. like sitting here talking. Exactly. No, that's like the yeah. whole goal of it, and I I really want everybody to get to know the people that. I love so much and care mm-hmm. about and are surrounding me and mm-hmm. in this journey and you're a huge part of it. So. I feel like it's also stuff like we like already know and just like want everyone yeah. else to know. For sure. For yeah. sure. That's that's the whole goal. It's like an inside look, mm-hmm. you know, into like our day to day. So I want to have you yeah. back with Tyler maybe yes. in the second season. Oh my gosh, that'll be fun. What a trio we are. <laughs> we are yes. we are a lot, but it'll it'll be great. But mm-hmm. um plug yourself quick. What do you want to plug? I mean, it's Makeup by Haley on... Makeup by Haley on Instagram. Everything. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about it. I mean, she I'm has no really... dates available, and if she yeah, has them, so... she's coming to me. So, yeah, so sorry. I'm really not plugging anything, because <laughs> it's not going to be there. Because she doesn't um, need to. That's... <laughs> yeah, that sounds that's... bad, but like... No, that's... You've worked so hard to get where you're at. Wait, follow my follow my TikTok. Oh, yeah. I'm, I just hit 2,000 followers, you guys, and I, I am that. so proud of myself. Yes. Follow uh, me so, yeah, follow my TikTok. It's like underscore makeup by Haley. Yes. Um, don't get excited, though, because there's so, not much going on. Well, but, but her Instagram serves, so go follow that. Um, once again, thank you that. for yeah. being here. Thank you. Love you to death. Hey, and Haley. anytime you see my face looking like extra, extra, extra good, it was me. It's done by Haley. <laughs> She's. My rider, but dad. also it is you because you're flawless. So I love you. Thank Don't you. Just, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna try to like take compliments from now because I'm always like, no. No, I do the same. It's fine. But thank I'll you. I'll be like, yeah, thanks. But in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'm a liar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the same way. <laughs> Cannot take a compliment, but no. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to the third episode of The Green Room with Jade Million. That is me. Um, if you guys want to go listen to my music, I have a bunch of stuff up on Spotify, Apple Music. I have a brand new song coming out very soon that I'm sure Haley will be doing my makeup for the music video. So please go listen to my stuff. Follow me on Instagram. I am Jade Million and TikTok Jade Million. I think that's all I have to plug for tonight. Cheers. Yes. We Cheers. made it through, dude. Yes. We were, Don't know how. We're not going to lie. We're we were dying. Unwell. We were unwell, but we killed it. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.